YouTube, welcome back. Tuesday edition for the Player Props Avant YouTube free plays. Um, and yeah, we get to have another day of good news. 11 for our last 13. We were able to easily cash a sweat free under um, between the Twins and the Tigers under five and a half runs. Um, very, very easy. It was my biggest play on my VIP card. Um, I'm very happy to share it with you guys. Um, yeah, it's been a hell of a run. Pineda dominated, um, actually cashed his over four and a half strikeouts at plus money last night as well. So yeah, very good day again. Um, the free plays have just been money over here um, and our units are starting to pile up. I think we're up almost to 10 units um, total and that's after the absolutely devastating NBA end of the season that, that demolished my unit total. Um, but we're back in the positive, we're on a hell of a run here and we're looking to continue it today with another under yes i know tough 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 to take another under but we're going to do it again i have really um a lot of numbers to back me up on this one i think that we'll be able to cash in number 12 of 14. so let's get to it marlins orioles under five minus 115 for the first five again we're going to roll with this. Um, the two starters for tonight's game is Sandy Alcantara and our boy Spencer Watkins for the Orioles. Um, let's just get to trends first. Um, trends, Marlins are 27, 22, and 4 on the road to the under. And the Orioles are 22, 21, and 3 to the under at home. Um, personally, my opinion on this line right when I saw it was I really don't think that they're taking into consideration how good Watkins has been and he's just another guy for the Orioles right the Orioles bullpen does suck don't get me wrong I hate their bullpen but that's why we roll the first five um I do not think that the full market is there yet um on him I jumped on him early after his first outing against that Blue Jays um and he's ended up carving up the White Sox and um Tampa Bay last time for us, and he actually cast our other under for us as well. Um, it is a hot day um, at Camden Yards. I think that's another reason why this number is so high. It's about 85 degrees, so the ball will be flying out. But I will get to why I don't really care about that today here in a little bit. First, we're going to dive into Watkins' numbers. Um, 16 and one-thirds innings as a starter with a 1.65 ERA. Against the three teams I mentioned before, which is the White Sox, Toronto, and Tampa Bay. Um, Alcantara, another great campaign. Uh, I think he was on the bereavement list, so this is his first start back. Um, but yeah, his stuff is nasty. We, we talk about it all the time. Uh, great sinker, um, about 99 miles an hour. Heavy stuff there. Good changeup and a hard slider. Um, three pitches that he goes to the most. Um, Alcantara on the road has a 3.63 ERA. Um, and the first time through the order is a 1-8 ERA. So I like that. I like when the first inning, or first time through, we get a nice clean one. Um, he has a 3.6 ERA. Second time through the order, which is obviously very good. Um, Al Alcantara is elite versus righties. Um, his numbers are great. 25% K rate, 216 batting average against, um, and a 1.02 whip. Um, Last outing for the Orioles versus Espino. They had five righties in that lineup. Um, so I do like that spot um, for Alcantara getting a lot of righties. Obviously the most pop they have in their lineup is gonna be your Mount Castles, your Trey Mancini's. Um, I don't know if Severino will hit, but he is also a power bat in that lineup. Um, I would say the only other person that would be, I'm worried about for power is Santander. Um, he's a switch hitter, but he's been off lately. so. Good time to get in on the Orioles and on that under train too. Um, I also like it because I like taking the first game of the series under usually early on. Um, I think that gives me a great spot. I have no numbers to back up how I've done on it, but I have taken it a lot and have seen success on cashing on those. Um, so this is what I was getting to here was with how hot it is there, everyone's going to say, oh, ball's going to fly out. Yes, yes, there is a very high possibility of that, right? in other games. I don't see it here because of what I said before. Alcantara stuff plays perfect to this. This is why he pitches so well at Marlin Stadium is because his ground ball rate um, on the road is 57% on batted balls in play. 
that is extremely high. Um, obviously, we know a lot of guys want to turn and burn here, so I think that leads to a lot more strikeouts as well because they're going to be wanting to put this ball up in the air, even though with a guy throwing a 98 mile an hour sinker, it is very hard to put that ball up in the jet stream. Um, that, that's why he's been so success, successful. Sorry, that was bad. Um, Watkins at home has a 33% ground ball rate, which is great. Um, it has a 1.29 ERA through the first time and a 1.42 ERA through the second time. So, great stuff there. Um, obviously, like I said before, if we get into the mid threes, like like the middle of the order on the third time around, we're already screwed, right? That's gonna be that's gonna be around six or seven runs probably if we're seeing them get there. So it'll already be dead. But first two times through the order, we're seeing a 1.29 and a 3.6. Um, or one, um, my bad, 1.8 and a 3.6 for Alcantara and a 1.29 and a 1.42 for Watkins there. Um, the MLB really doesn't have many guys that pitch like Watkins anymore, right? Um, you saw it when Davies first came up, he was electric because no one could hit him because his stuff moved so much. He located, dotted well, um, and that's why he was successful. Now, I mean, everybody got the, the scouting report. I don't really think everybody has a scouting report on Watkins yet. He's got good stuff, uh, doesn't throw hard, but he locates extremely, extremely well. Um, and then this is my last point here for us today is the last seven home games um, for the Orioles' first five numbers. They scored three, two, three, zero, zero, one, one in their last. So not great. Um, I didn't make an average of that, but as you can hear, it's really not that good. Um, and the Ori or the Marlins' last six road games has been zero one zero four zero zero seven two so or that was seven my bad i can't count this morning but again not great the seven runs was just an outburst on zach efflin um because he can't keep the ball in the ballpark at home i mean that's well known stat zach efflin on the road is much much better um there that that seven spot was against the phillies there um, so yeah, I really like to spot. Um, surprising that this number's at four or at five. I thought it would be a four and a half number, um, but yeah, I will definitely take this line um, and lock that in at under five. I think that this is going to be at worst a push, um, but yeah, I want to keep this streak rolling. We're only going with one play again um, here. Um, I just like to thank you guys again for tuning in. I appreciate all your guys' support. It's been awesome. These runs have been crazy. Um, YouTube has just been electric over here. Can't wait for NFL season. Um, I got big news coming up. Um, again, I, I'm not doing a prize pick play because I have different news. I might not be. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything. Don't want to spoil anything until we get there. But um, very big news for me um, coming up shortly in the DFS world. Uh, yeah, and I'm very, very excited for that. But not everything is through yet, so I want to make sure I save that there. Make sure you guys subscribe. Closing in on 200 subscribers. Um, we're getting around 250 some views each time so anybody who's views might as well subscribe you're already here might as well continue to cash with the gang thank you guys so much hope to recap with you tomorrow with another winner for 12 for 14 over here on youtube um, let's go sandy alcantara and our boy spencer watkins peace guys let's catch another ticket